this is my completed composting tower garden. One of them is already made. It's filled with rich organic soil. Here's the brands I buy. It takes 10 of these bags to fill up the drum properly. I also use some of this uh, peat moss, sorry, the bag's upside down for when I opened it. And these are standard 55 gallon drums. Make sure you get some that don't have any chemicals in it that are harmful to you or that can leach into your soil. The reason for the tube in the center is it's actually created in order to do composting. I'm going to introduce a whole bunch of red wigglers in this, probably two to 300 per bin, which will compost and create warm castings at the bottom of this drum and feed the soil and aerate the soil at the same time, creating a wonderful ecosystems for uh, growing uh, vegetables. This is the one I completed today. I used wine bottles after heating it up with a heat gun to make this shape. How it's actually made is five inch slits with a four inch gap in between approximately just spread evenly all the way around to give us nine trays per row. And there are six rows for a total of 54 plants for the pockets only. But you can plant on top. Here's an onion that I grew, regrew some uh, roots and I'm going to see how that regrows in that planter. That's just store bought. So the inside is made up of the pipe, which has holes all the way around evenly so that the worms can travel to and from. And the composting. And it's mounted to the bottom. These bins are going to be raised and put onto a platform that's approximately eight inches so that I can put a tray underneath that's going to catch all the fluids coming out of here. So I did not seal around this so that the fluids from the soil when it rains or gets watered can ooze out of here. And in the center here is the cork for the composting tray so that I can remove the rich nutrient uh, worm castings from the bottom here. I did put uh, cotton balls in here and drilled a whole bunch of holes Sorry, so that the water, rich compost tea, can leach out easily. And if there's any sediments and stuff, it don't, won't clog up the holes unnecessarily. It'll just filter through the cotton. Uh, that was my reasoning behind that. It's not a perfect design, but I know it's pretty efficient. I use stainless steel screws and bolts, so I don't have to worry about rusting. And I'm gonna suspend it on an eight inch platform um, at some point. It's gonna take a long time before you harvest any composting tea anyways. So it gives you an idea of my tower garden. I'm hoping to put 10 of these on this deck and to explain just how much uh, real estate you save uh, using a system like this. This is the tape I use for measuring to get all the plants. This signifies one row. That's how far that goes. All right, and that's tight spacing. And the reason it's tight spacing is because you get plants that grow on either side and they can grow outwards towards you. So you don't need as much room as you would in the soil because they can, they can spread out because of the drum being around, it spreads out as things go outwards. So you can get away with tighter spacing. But if you were to do this on the ground, I estimated that it would require approximately 10 square feet of space, uh, of gardening space. So I did a mock-up space here on my deck, so I put these stands. For one drum, you're looking at approximately that big of an area of, of growing, replaced by one of these drums. So imagine putting 10 of these along my deck here, which is a rooftop area. How much production can come out of that? I don't know how much this roof can hold, but if I can put 10 drums or more, I'd be pretty happy. And uh, 
very happy with the the results of this uh, this drum here a heat gun until it becomes malleable and then you insert a wine bottle in there and let it cool off if you have enough wine bottles that you can collect from your market then um, you'll see in my how-to vi uh, videos um, how efficient it can be and you can do this whole drum in a couple hours good luck look forward to hearing some feedback on this and uh, let me know what your success stories are.